What's up, nerds? Welcome to another episode of the Multiverse Report. We are recapping the new trailer for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness from the Sanctum Sanctorum to Earth 616 and everywhere in between. My name is Mike Gibson. With me, as always, is Steve Haller. Here we go, Steve. Wow, yeah. man. Wow. Um, for anyone who you know is still with us from our previous uh, Lord of the Rings trailer breakdown that we just did 10 minutes ago. And Thanks just, for hanging yeah. out. Uh, we're in for a wild ride for the next couple of minutes because there was a lot we just saw in the two minutes and change of um, wonderfulness that <laughs> Multiverse of Madness uh, is giving us. That was that was just impressive. That was that was something. And here's what I can say: I went into the Super Bowl tonight, like always. Here's how I treat the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is the only football game I watch every year, um, and. I kind of train my brain to think that it's the only football game that is played every year, oh. which makes it even more exciting for me. Like it's, I'm able to like care about it. If I'm like, they're never going to do this again <laughs> after tonight until next year, once a year, two teams come together anyway. But like always, I go in more excited for the uh, trailers that I'm going to see that get right. announced. Um, as, as a former football player, I'm about half and half on that. Like, especially sure. this year with what we knew was coming. Yeah. So I went into this fully thinking that the most exciting thing we're going to get is probably Lord of the Rings. And um, personally, I thought we were going to get another Black Adam trailer. Right. Um, the game, I believe, is still going on. As of this recording, me as of this sentence, yep. we have not gotten a Black Adam trailer. We have not gotten an Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer, things that were rumored. Um, we do have a man on the inside who is currently still watching the game to let us know if either of those things happen, uh, we will, we will cut to that. We'll be breaking news. Um, Our man on however, the what I was not as excited about was the new trailer for Dr. Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, because I had read that it was just going to be an expansion of the trailer we had already seen the post credit scene from Spider-Man No Way Home that turned into a trailer that they released a week later. I had read that it was just going to be like that plus a little bit more or whatever, but shortened it, because Super Bowl trailer. Right. It was uh, definitely know. an expansion. Radical expansion. <laughs> um, Multiverse so wide much, expansion, should we say? Yes. So much that we didn't see in the original trailer. Yeah. Um, I got to like, this just looks like so... I mean, and it has to be because it has to surpass or live up to the first movie, which is so visually spectacular. Yep. This just looks so visually intriguing and spectacular and just out of this world cool looking. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good movie, but it certainly looks great. Um, and uh, I, know, I know there's stuff that we're gonna, definitely going to dig into when we get to it. And we are doing a full episode after this that is still packed, so we shouldn't spend too long on this. But overall, Steve, like 30-foot view, thoughts on this trailer. What'd you think? Um, it took a it took a movie that I was excited for but wasn't off the wall for and brought it to no way home levels for me. Um wow. there like what it set up and the implications that it set up, and you know where my allegiances lie. Uh, I sure do. <laughs> if if you haven't seen the trailer, uh, go watch it now. Yeah, stop okay. listening to this. And go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come back and uh, go back and listen to one minute nineteen seconds, which yeah. we'll get to in a while. But, uh, but pay, that's pay that's what. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention to your uh, your audio at that point. Pay attention to that voice at at one minute and nineteen seconds, and then come back to listen to the rest of this. So. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I like that it spins out directly of his involvement in Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, it makes sense that Mordu is after him because of what he did um, in Spider-Man No Way Home, because yep. at the last time we saw him, he was all like, Sorcerer's gotta go. Right. Uh, can't happen anymore. I gotta like destroy this magic or whatever that he's after. So Now, at the same time, we did hear Wong mention to Strange about you know messing with the, uh, the multiverse and opening yeah. this. I have a weird take on this because I'm wondering Marvel has a big thing for splicing audio together and he says yeah. strange and then there's a pause and then he goes into that other thing. Mm -hmm. Dare I say he's talking to America Chavez that Wong is talking to America Chavez and she accidentally punched into the MCU. 
Oh, wait, when he said, when Wong says what? When he says... Uh, he said, I believe it was, um, it was something about you, you opened, or you opened a portal to, or the door to other dimensions yeah. or something like that. Okay, yeah. And yep. dare I say, I, and this is completely off the wall, but imagine if that's not him talking to Strange, if that's him talking to Chavez, and she just it randomly shows be. up and that's what sets this whole thing in motion, because she's in that trailer a lot. She is, yeah, and uh, she looks good in yeah. that trailer too. Like I'm, ex like my wife watched it with me, and she goes, "Whoa, who's that?" Like it was like a, <laughs> nice. a draw for her. Yep. Um, because yeah, she recognized everyone else, but um, you know, I was like, "That's America Chavez." And oh, she was yeah. like, "I don't know who that. That's not an answer that is <laughs> works for me at all." Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, I just all like the visuals of like the buildings falling apart and colliding into each other that's yep. as if that's some kind of representation of the disaster now that, that the multiverse is now that he like performed this thing like i thought that was really cool um really like creepy stuff like they they talked about this when they first announced the movie when yeah. scott derrickson was still involved as a director they refer to it as a horror movie and they didn't say it, they said it wasn't going to be r it's just this is going to be pg-13 but it's going to be scary um, and we saw a lot of that in this trailer more so than we saw in the first one, uh, early on, there's like someone that looks like they're like a bandage monster or something like, yeah, being held I didn't recognize like, whoever that was. Uh, no, neither did I. That dream sequence was, uh, cause that's, or that's the sequence that strange again, they probably cut it weird, but that was the sequence yeah. that, uh, strange referred to as this dream he keeps having. And I don't mm -hmm. know if you noticed, but I love the touch when he woke up. And he immediately went to clutch the eye. And it wasn't Oh, I didn't there. notice that. Yes, yeah, you're right. He you, did. Yep. yep. It, so right yeah. at the end, it was like this reflex of like, there's no longer uh, one of the stones yeah, on my chest I'm anymore. Not it. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and then we see somebody like, be, I don't know if they're being pulled apart or just suspended in the air by like some like weird right. vines or something kind too. That looks really same creepy. same bandage thing that we saw that. Yeah. Dude I thought it might've been maybe. the same one. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, there wasn't a ton, honestly, I gotta say, and you know, Marvel, the MCU gets a lot of flack for having all the movies look the same one. I don't think this looks the same as, uh, other like Russo movies. I honestly, no. I think that that comes from all the Avengers movies and like the Russo Captain America Avengers movies. I think this, all those yeah, this look is the same ratified. because they're made by this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All those look the same because they're made by the same people. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense really. Um, uh, but there were definitely a couple shots that I thought looked like very Sam Raimi, yeah. um, shots. Uh, the CGI obviously is something that, I mean, Raimi's used CGI before, but I don't think he's used it to this extent necessarily right. um, in a way that was so crucial, I think. Um, and he hasn't directed a movie in a really long time either. It's been over 10 years, I think, that he's even made a movie. So in that time, CGI is just, you know, just continues to get better and better and better. So he's, he's come a know. long way from a chainsaw on a hand. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and... There's no way this is going to happen, but I would absolutely love if uh, Ash Williams becomes canon to the MCU <laughs> <laughs> and somehow walks through a portal or something. That would be the best that thing That would ever. be amazing. Um, okay. I don't know that we can beat around the bush any longer. Let's get to what we're getting to. So um, I mentioned Mordu arresting Doctor Strange. Yep. Putting some weird handcuffs on them i assume they're like magic suppressing handcuffs because right. otherwise so, they would do nothing to dr so strange have at we all. seen a shot of mordo at all before this uh like in any I, of the I other trailers I, I believe there was a shot yeah he was in the first trailer okay i believe because he had yeah. you know longer dra when we last saw yes. baron mordo he was you know tight cut uh yep. in the sanctum um and now he's you know long dreaded the question is is that you know mordo from our universe or from somewhere else a different uh, one yeah we, we saw enough different stranges including a i believe a what if zombie strange yeah yeah <laughs> so and uh the, the what if zombie strange with like the bunch of arms at the end was, right like, terrifying uh -huh. yes <laughs> there's your yeah. horror movie right there um yeah and also sure. your ramified uh <laughs> visual but yeah um for sure that was like that that dawned on me of like all right you know, uh, Baron Mordo is X, Y, and Z in what we've seen him. Is he, is this him or is this someone else? Because if he's working for 
who we see next, I'm really right. wondering because um, uh, I guess, yeah, let's just go to the elephant in the room. I just go to it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hold on though. Hold on though. Yeah. So Mordo puts these seemingly magic blocking yeah. handcuffs on him. And we see him being led into a, a great hall yeah. of some kind, like a chamber. They're coming upstairs, being, being led by robots or metal suits of some kind. Ul- Steve, Ultron-ish type? They look like Ultron bots yeah. to me. Yep. So right there, what? That, like, well, that was another one that sent me into maybe this is a different multiverse that he's in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, is there a new, a different Ultron or the same Ultron or whatever, but just like right. different looking maybe. Is Ultron going to show up in Multiverse of Madness and be part of this weird uh, um, like council that he's brought before? He's led into by these Ultron bots. They almost look like Tony Starkish. Yeah. also though they're like ultron bot heads but they do have like a not an arc reactor probably but like a glowing thing mm-hmm. in the middle of the chest that is reminiscent of iron man so who knows well who iron knows man, uh, well there, there may be a tie here because he's led into this big council chamber um and there was a bunch of seats up on the dais and yes Dare I say, there may be a council, not the Council of Reeds, uh, (laughs) which would have been another interesting way to take it, but uh, at the 119 mark, as we mentioned, um, I have expected, uh, or in my brain, the uh, 1994 theme music started playing, because we have confirmed that the X-Men are part (laughs) of the MCU with Sir Patrick Stewart's voice. All right. (laughs) I want to, I'm going to back you up on there. A li- I'm going to ask you to back up a little on that. <laughs> Sorry, I got and a little too excited. On the, and on the other half of that sentence, I am going to back you up. Two different, two different, <laughs> two different Fair backing. Enough. Two different backings. One, 100%, that was Patrick Stewart's yes. voice saying, we should tell we should him the, tell truth. the truth. That yeah. is Patrick fucking Stewart's yeah. voice. So, unless... They got Patrick Stewart to be Ralph a different Boner character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In this movie, that means most likely, considering everything that we saw in Spider-Man No Way Home, that means most likely that Professor Xavier, as played by Patrick Stewart, is going to be in this movie. Right. Whether this Whoa. is Stewart, or whether this is Xavier Prime that we know from the Foxverse, or whatever, or a, a different version one. of... Patrick Stewart's yes. Charles Xavier is in this movie. Yes. So, does that mean that Patrick Stewart's X Men are coming into the MCU? I don't think so. I, I still, yeah. I'm still hesitant on that. Maybe that's not what you meant when you said the X Men are coming. Oh no, I'm I just I'm, okay. Yeah, you just meant the that, characters in general. Yeah, just yes. that there is the connection now. Yes. Um, what that does mean, and this council. For anyone who has read the comics, uh, yes, has basically confirmed the Illuminati uh, do or will be present or it, something similar to the original Illuminati, which did include Doctor Stephen Strange, uh, yep. and also Iron Man. So your yep. Tony Stark Ultron bots would be very fitting, and yep. Charles also, Xavier, and also Namor the Submariner. Yep. And T'Challa, I believe. T'Challa and, and Reed original. Richards. Yeah. And Reed Richards, yes. So some of those we may or may not be able to actually see, and it may be a modified no, version of the Illuminati. No but... women on the Illuminati? Come on, Marvel. What's well, up? You know, Come on. Yeah. Um, uh, that'll probably change in this movie, I would hope anyway. But I, uh, I mean, somebody's got to fill in for uh, T'Challa. T'Challa, yeah. Namor hasn't been introduced. And doesn't, doesn't they're... mean they can't. Doesn't mean this isn't when we meet him. Right. Are they going to drop all of them into, like, are they going to cast somebody as Richards for this? Is this where we find out who Reed Richards is? But that's the thing. Even if, even if we get Ian Griffud as Reed Richards yep. from the Fantastic Four movies or uh, that other douchey guy's name <laughs> from the remake that was bad. Oh, yeah. That no one liked. I can't remember his name. The guy from. Um, the drum movie. <laughs> like, I can't think of his name. Because <laughs> I don't care about him as an actor. Oh, yeah, that's go. why. Um, uh, that guy. 
uh, even, even if we get one of even if it's literally them, John Krasinski walks out on stage as Reed Richards, that doesn't yeah. mean necessarily it doesn't. He, yes, because it's multiverse. It could be the Reed Richards from another. It could like so Patrick Stewart could be the Patrick Stewart from the Fox X Men movies. Yep. It could be just a different Patrick Stewart. It doesn't mean that Patrick Stewart is going to be Professor X in the MCU moving forward necessarily. Personally, I hope that he is not. I know a lot of people want that to happen. I know a lot of people want to just bring over the X-Men from the Fox movies. I don't want that. Those Fox X-Men movies are a mixed bag of really great and really terrible. A lot of just mediocre stuff for me. Yeah. Like there's not a lot of those movies that are sky high, amazing, rewatchable. Like they're good to maybe one or two great ones. And the rest of them are just okay to bad. So and not a lot of them feel like X-Men movies, really right. at all, to me. So I would rather them start fresh. And I think Kevin Feige wants to start fresh. So I think this is an Easter egg. He's a multiverse version of Patrick Stewart. And hey, play that version of Patrick St Sorry, of Professor X. And hey, play that version of Professor X in, as this version in the Illuminati in this mystical, otherworldly realm until you don't want to do it anymore. Great, keep that one. But cast another one when you introduce your X-Men. Yeah. Please. But maybe this is but maybe this is how we get mutants like everyone has been saying. Maybe this is what brings mutants into the MCU. That has been a theory for a long time. We thought it was going to happen with WandaVision. We thought it was going to happen with No Way Home. We didn't really I didn't think it was going to happen with No Way Home. Some people no. thought it was going to happen with No Way Home. Um but Hell, this some could be the time it happen, would happen with Eternals because of the deviance Yes. Connection. Yes, also. Like, everybody yeah. is just trying to find a way to shove the X-Men into this universe, and I, I'm i with you. I just want Feige and company to take their time and introduce it right. Yes, but this certainly seems like, again, unless the small possibility that he's not playing Professor X, <laughs> right. or it's not his voice, like it really sounds like his voice. I'd be shocked if it wasn't his voice, but I guess there's, we didn't there's see always his the face. chance. There's a slim chance that it's not him. We have to allow for that, but... Yeah. For the base of this conversation, we're going to assume that it's him. Um, I literally, on my show notes, had that in all caps, uh, 119, Patrick Stewart. That was it. That was my notes. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I had Ultron bots and Patrick Stewart. These are the things, two things I had. I had a couple so, other things, uh, including the follow-up shot to the Patrick yes. Stewart. Let's get into so, that. Okay. That may or may not be another uh, tease to the X-Men or tie to the X-Men. Um, because if you look, it's Doctor Strange and America Chavez falling together like, like tumbling, falling yeah tumbling off a cliff and in the background are two dinosaurs yeah. fighting each other it's a t-rex so and a triceratops are, going hammer and tongues yeah so either they're falling through the 1939 king kong movie or <laughs> or they're in the savage land right right which is insane to think or that. or they're just back in time somewhere right. or they're in a world where dinosaurs still exist whatever but I don't know. You're talking a Marvel movie and yeah. you're talking about Professor Xavier and then you show us dinosaurs. Us nerds are thinking Savage Land. Right. Ie. So maybe deliver on the Savage Land. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. There's. Yeah. Do we see really Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Strange and a hey, second Sauron reference today? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> because the uh, big bad of the Savage Land, well, one of the, I mean, Zeladane would also be uh, sure. That, actually, that might be a decent tieback. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's a rabbit hole we're not going to go down right now. But um, yeah. yeah, if if Sauron against Doctor Strange, I want to see it now. That's that's it. That would be interesting. <laughs> Certainly a way to do it. Um, we got to talk about Wanda in this trailer. I thought yep. she uh, looks great and she looks intense and she looks terrifying. And I yeah. love love the line that she says to Doctor Strange. You break the rules and you become a hero. I break the rules and I'm a bad guy. Or I'm a villain. I don't think that's fair. 100% true. Wow. She caused harm to some people because of her trauma or whatever. And everyone vilifies her. She has to run away and be by herself. He breaks the multiverse and he's still acting like he's a hero. He's out running around. Everyone's fine with it. Apparently, I guess, except Mordo. So maybe not entirely true. But um, do you think this trailer positioned her as the villain of the movie? Or do you think... Because there's a scene where, or it's just more multiverse stuff, because there's a scene where she's in costume, crying, and a non-costumed version of herself is looking at her and reaching down. Right, like a beat face. up, like yeah. very physically, right. like damaged version. 
Yeah, and the way she delivers that line to Strange is, I don't think that's fair. Almost right. like crazy, kind of like uh, intensely, I'm going to mess your shit up kind of right. tone. I've been hanging out um, with the Dark Hole a little bit too much type tone. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't really want her to be the straight up villain of this movie. I kind of hope she's not. Um, well, we do see Shimagorath. Yes. Well, no, we see well, Gargantua or, or yeah, whatever. whatever the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but, you know, maybe, dare I say, it ends up being one of those where, off the bat, Strange goes to uh, Wanda, has that initial talk we see, yeah. things progress, things go wonky. The other shot we see of her looking, you know, uh, quite distressed and all that is like mid uh mid mid act and then yeah the turn yeah. to oh you know all right i'm back on the good side let's destroy this you know multi uh, multiversal yeah or i mean that could be monster. that could be her looking at her past and like dealing with it in some yeah. way like dealing with the destruct like what she did that, in westview like all that, that looked stuff. like the that looked like it was the house from westview yes i think they were in yeah. that house yes yeah so so or whatever I mean, whatever iteration of that house was when she came down the stairs in the OG Scarlet Witch costume, that yeah. version of the house. Yes. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean that. You know, we like we were saying this and the Flash. It's a they're multiverse movies. Literally, they could be doing anything, yeah. and they could excuse anything from the trailer as being like, well, it's a multiverse, so it's not the real thing or whatever. It's a trick mm-hmm. because it's not this. It's this. It's this instead of this because it's a multiverse. <laughs> You know, they can do that with literally anything they want. Um, I thought this was great. I, we did get a little more of that fight with Shuma Gorath in the street, which would looked really cool. Um, I don't know. You just don't know when anything is going to take place in this movie. Like, is that an early battle or is that like a climax of the film? As he's trying to save New York at the end as like right. the big thing, or is that like an early thing where he meets America Chavez and then they go on this adventure together to find Wanda or whatever like what order are these things happening in right um, yeah it could be they do that at the beginning of the movie then go find Wanda at uh the mountain uh Wonder Girl Mountain yeah and they're like hey come back and help and then she goes off the rails or whatever iteration of this like we have no clue yeah so, I know um there was did, another great shot sorry you go you're probably on the same boat I am I don't know. I, there was another great shot. Uh, I think it was after the Savage Land thing of Strange and America. They were, I think it was America Chavez. They, they were like, again, tumbling through something slowly and their faces yeah. started to like cube out, yeah. like come apart, which is very reminiscent of artwork for um, House of M. There Ooh, is a, yeah. a, a cover or something uh, of House of M where Wanda is like casting a spell or something and she's like turning into like pixelated just little square squares of herself are like drifting out and we all know house of m is when wanda says no more mutants as she was kind of like lost in her own reality losing her mind a little bit and that decimates the mutant population and a lot of people have been thinking that instead of decimating the mutant population she's going to create it or increase it right um kind of like a reversal right so, like maybe I don't that know. happened years ago and this is the reversal or who yeah knows? who knows <laughs> who knows so i don't know if those like the the cubifying of dr strange in that shot i don't know if that is a reference to that just because it looks cool and it's a cool visual or is it does it signify something greater that is relevant to mutants i don't know right yeah what were you I gonna mean, say was that i no, i was gonna say we did catch one more cameo uh in it of uh captain marvel of some sort be it yes um be it carol danvers or uh, for those who don't know, um, Monica Rambeau, who is Photon in the current MCU universe, at other points has been Captain Marvel. Uh, so whether whether it was Danvers or a multi multiversal version that was Monica, um, there there was a Captain Marvel sighting. My guess is that if it is one of, I mean, again, it's a multiverse thing. It could be a third, fourth, fifth, or infinite thing. It doesn't have to be just Carol or right. um, Monica, but from the shot, if you kind of freeze it, it does look like a black person. So I'm going to say because of that and also because she knows Wanda. So oh, there true. is, yeah, so there's, there's a connection. connection there. If so, I'm going to say that it's Monica. If it's one of those two, right. um, which would wrap up her powers for 
Marvels for, down for the, the Marvels. Road. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Um, Intriguing. But again, that could be like a villain. That could be a Ultron bot or whatever. Yep. You know, we don't know. Could be a million different things. Absolutely. So, but anyway, this trailer is something that knocked me out um, more than I expected it to be. Again, I didn't think it was going to be much, and it was so much. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we're certainly not the first ones to have the Professor Xavier take. I'm sure there's a lot of nerds online talking about that right now, but we appreciate you listening to what we have to say about it. Um, and again, if you are watching us live, stick around. We are going to take another break and get started on our full week's recap of nerdy news episode um just a short break so steve can like oh God, we haven't even stuff. started the real episode have we we haven't even started the real episode <laughs> these are two special trailer breakdowns we have a super packed agenda for the real episode we're talking about star wars we're talking about dc we're talking about comics we're talking about a ton of stuff and we're also recapping the n- most recent episode of peacemaker as well as the season finale of boba fett so don't go anywhere. Stick around. If you are just listening to us via podcast or watching us on YouTube, and if you're just watching this, please like and subscribe, uh, share, email us, find us on socials. Steve usually does this. I don't usually do this very well, but um, uh, find us at the man. Multiverse Report on a lot of stuff, Multiverse RPT on Twitter. You can send us an email at the Mul- Multiverse. The Multiverse Report at gmail.com or just go yeah. to the Multiverse Report.com and it's all there yeah um and again if you're watching us live check out our whole new episode and if you're just listening to this episode for the first time come back and listen to the episode we're about to record in like three minutes yeah so do that and it'll be a whole lot more nerd talk about more stuff than just marvel stuff but also marvel stuff so that is it and until next time we'll see you at a a multiverse did your tongue just get caught in the multiverse yeah that's yes that's my multiversal uh sign off perfect (laughs) See ya. See ya.